Hello guys, this is Meta and this is the second part of the tutorial of how to make a word processor in Visual Basic or VB.net. So now we have made our style, okay? Now we'll add the rich text box components. To do this, go to toolbox and go to editor and drag and drop this red rich text box, okay? onto the form now position it on here and go to its anchor properties and select all now it will be easier now we have add the rich text box let's edit a little okay so first of all we'll change the name to text pad and And change the cursor to ID and change the theme name to nothing. Okay, we're good to go now. Now you can test it if you want to see if everything works or not. But before testing, I will change the form. Let me see. We're done, okay? Now let me see what it looks like. It looks it looks good. But I don't like the font, okay? So I will go to the internet browser and search the fonts. Now go to Google and type Segio UI font download free. And click the first link. and click download and verify it and click download okay i have missed i make mistake <laughs> that's the toughest capuch shake it with a a A A R E download. Okay, now click here. It will download this font, the font we need. Now close your browser and go to the place where you have downloaded. Now just Copy the file. Copy this file and go to your control panel if you have XP and this is Windows 7 or this is similar. Go to fonts and click paste. Okay, it has been done. Now, I think I have to restart this. And you have to restart this Visual Studio, okay? And click save it. And I will save it on my projects. And save. Okay, now click the font. 
and find Segure UI and here it is and choose this size I will make it thin and see it if everything works or not yep it's good now in the next part I will show you how to add toolbar ribbon bar and things like that okay so thanks for watching guys